Hey folks, it's Michael from BetterMixing.com and uh, after doing a uh, review of the CLA Signature Series bundle uh, the other night, I was really eager to try out the other um, RG Signature Series plugins from Waves Audio, so today I decided to see how the Tony Maserati RG Signature Series plugins sound. The Tony Maserati RG Signature Series, um, as you can see on the website, is uh, put together from seven different plugins and you get a separate plugin for drums, acoustic guitars, bass guitar, um, then you get a group plugin, the GTI, which is for electric guitars, you get a HMX, which is a very interesting plugin and we're gonna take a, a detailed look on that as well in this review, and you'll get the Maserata VX1, which is uh, specially suited for vocals. So, as always, the commercial texts on the website sound pretty cool. Um, they promise you that you get the sound of multi-platinum mixer Tony Maserati with just a few easy tweaks. So, let's see if this is true. First, we're going to take a look at the Maserati Drum Slammer plugin. Um, that's the information they have on the website. Tony Maserati says about this plugin that the TRM was designed to help the excitement of the percussive transients get heard through mixes which are thick with instrumentation vocals whether on programmed or live drums DRM is a great starting point for your mix so we're gonna see if it is we're gonna switch over to Cubase where I have prepared a drum session the drums have been recorded by me uh, using Superior Drama with the Nashville I think the Music City expansion back so um, they're pretty normal acoustic drums I'm gonna see if the plugins are off. Yeah, I'm gonna play you a part of the of the drum track so that you can hear how the drum sounds without any processing. And then we're gonna take a look at the Tony Maserati Drum Slammer plugin. So you can hear there's nothing special going on, just normal sample drums with a nice warm country style sound. So let's take a look at the plugins. First we're gonna listen what it does to the overheads. I will link this. Okay. So here we have the Tony Maserati bundle for the drums. Pull it up. Okay. And uh, as you see you have the sensitivity control, you have a thump control, a snap control, a treble and an output. I think the snap is the compressor. And if you want detailed information about all these controls uh, in this plugin bundle, please re uh, head over to the Waves website and check out the manual. They describe every time everything pretty accurate and pretty easy to understand. If you want to try these plugins on your own songs or your own material, just head over to their website as well because they're offering a 14 day free trial for each plugin. Okay, now let's take a listen to the overheads. I'm going to solo this too. Oh, they are already soloed. Okay. So, one thing that is important. Um, working with this artist signature series uh, plugins is that you um, adjust the sensitivity here until there is a yellow to orange light green means that you're hitting it too low and red means that you're obviously hitting it too hot so um we're going to switch over here to the overheads where it changes already the setting a little bit and uh, we're gonna listen to it and see what happens if we tweak the plugin Of course we, <laughs> okay, I, I had a long long night uh, last night. Of course we have to activate the plugin first. Sorry for that. So here we go again. Okay, um, you can hear that it gets a little m more snap and it sounds a little more open, of course, because the treble is up. It also has a little more thump, um, a little more low end. I like it that way, so I'm going to leave it that way. Now let's head over to the room mix and see what we can do with these. I'm going to open it up here and we're going to activate the plugin first. 
Now let's take a listen. Um, I'm going to switch that to room. Okay, so here we have the basic settings that are already in the plugin for the room mix, and we're going to see how we can tweak that to get a, a sound we're looking for. So let's let's take a listen. Okay, so you can hear um, there is a change going on. The snare becomes a little more present. It has a little bit more snap and a little bit more power, but the changes are subtle. Actually, I like it uh, the way it's doing it. You know, it's not over compressing anything, um, although the snap is all up here. And uh, it, it sounds, I think it sounds better with the plugin on. And it, there are just so, so, so subtle changes, but this is what mixing all about. You know, we don't, we don't want to, to damage the material in any way. So um, these subtle changes can make the difference in the mix. So I'm going to play the room mix um, without the plugin, then I engage the plugin so you can hear what it's actually doing to the mix. So it brings out the room a little bit more, which um, surely is great if you want natural sounding roomy drums. Um, yeah, it, it works pretty cool for room. So here we go to the kick, where I have two kick mics, uh, the same as I had with the CLA Signature Series Bundle Review. And um, we're gonna take a listen at the kick out first. So I'm gonna solo that and play it to you. And um, this is something where I where I found that the CLA Signature Series had its weaknesses because it turned my I don't know, more country style kick, I think it's a P PB kick, I, I'm not sure about that, um, into a, I don't know, very boomy rock, kind of rock drum kick. Um, and I didn't like that at all, so let's see how the Maserati um, plugin is doing that with the kick drum. So we're gonna, it's already on the bass drum setting here. So we're gonna let this setting adjust the sensitivity. I'm gonna see what we can carve out with this plugin. Okay, so obviously the changes are very subtle, so we're gonna take a look at the kick out microphone, tweak that, and then we're gonna play these two together and see how it sounds when both kick mix uh, mics are uh, activated. So we're gonna take a look at this one first. Okay, now we're gonna put these two together. And I'm gonna play them first without the plugin and then with the plugin so that you can hear what the plugin actually is doing. So we're gonna go this on bypass. Okay. So obviously, besides that is a little bit louder, which needed to be adjusted uh, with the output gain, um, it does only some very subtle changes. Um, but I like it actually much more than the CLA version uh, of these RG Signature Series plugins. So now let's take a listen how the whole kit sounds. Until now, we're gonna activate this again. Okay, let's take a listen to the whole kit.
Okay, I, I like it so far. Let's let's move over to the snare and see how the plugin performs at the snare. So um gonna open up the plugin. Gonna pull it over here and we're gonna switch to snare top. These are the basic settings and we're gonna listen to it first. Set the sensitivity and then we're gonna see how we can form the snare to ma to match the, the drum kit in this in this song. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me, so let's add the snare bottom make to it. So this one first, and let's see what we can do here, because there is, sorry, there is an extra control for the snare button make. Pull it over here, it's on the second monitor, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's switch over to snare bottom, and listen to it and just a little bit, and see how well we can get with the snare button program. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's listen to the snare top and bottom mix together and see how it sounds with the plugin and without the plugin. First, I'm gonna deactivate the plugin and then I'm gonna switch it back again. Back again. Okay, so here we go. The snare with the tone first with the without the plugin and then I'm gonna activate it. Okay, so we got a much more present snare sound. Um, I like it that way. Let's listen to the whole kit and um, how it sounds so far. Okay, I like it that way. Let's take a look at the hi-hat. Okay, so with the hi hat, we have um, we we have a separate program for the hi hat, and we're gonna leave it like it is. I'm gonna play a little bit of the hi hat and set the sensitivity so that it is between yellow and orange, and then we're gonna see what all the controls are changing. Okay, we're gonna play it from the beginning. Okay. Okay, so that's a hi hat I kind of like. Um, I wouldn't do as much on a hi hat anyways. Maybe push a little bit of five k and pull out the low end and maybe pull out a little bit of 2.2 um, to make it a little bit thinner but uh, it's okay for that now so let's listen to the hi-hat without the plugin and then I'm gonna pull the plugin in so that you can hear what the plugin actually is. It's doing a lot of gain but I really don't want to do here um, the output and the level matching for, for uh, 15 minutes or so so it, it's it's a subtle change and I like the, the higher gain uh, more so let's listen to the hi-hat without the plugin and then I'm gonna take it in.
Okay, so the hi-hat gets a little bit more aggressive. It gets a little bit more edgy. I like it that way. Um, I'm going to leave it that way. And now we're going to take a listen at the toms. So I'm going to loop that little piece over here where we have a nice tom fill. Okay, now we're going to open up. They're linked, so I just have to open up one of these plugins. And I'm going to activate them and set the sensitivity so the dom the toms are pretty matched in level so if i set the sensitivity for the first one it should work for the other two as well so let's give a listen to the toms and let's see what we can achieve with this plugin of course first we have to switch to the toms mode here Okay, so very subtle changes here again, um, but I like the sound. It sounds pretty cool and the toms sound ready. Of course, you had to be a little bit of edited, getting the rumble out of it a little bit, but you can't do this with this plugin. You have to use an, an, a separate equalizer. Um, I'm gonna play the toms first without the plugin, then I'm gonna activate the plugin so you can hear the difference it does. Okay, so the toms sound better with the plugin on. I like that sound very much. Now we're gonna take a look, uh, listen at the whole kit. And first I'm gonna play you the whole kit without any of the inserts, with no plugins on. And then I am gonna activate all of them so you can hear how the whole kit is sounding without the plugins and then with the plugins. Okay, so honestly, I have to say, a very good job. I like the sound, and it instantly gives you a much more radio-ready sound. So a good job on the Tony Maserati Drum Slammer plugin. It really works very well, and without changing a lot of parameters, without having to, to tweak a lot of EQ and compression, you get a pretty, pretty decent sound out of it. So that's actually uh, a very cool plugin, honestly. Um, I like the sound it, it, it has. Um, as you might have seen, I'm, I'm hitting the red here and there. Um, I, of course, if I would prepare this song now for uh, release, um, I would adjust the levels, but for this review, um, we're working with 32-bit flow, so we should have no distortion, and uh, I'm not going to level this now. Let's move over to the next one, which is um, the bass plugin, I think. We're going to take a look at the internet side of waves. Yes, the B72. Tony Maserati says on this plugin that the P72 actually has two distinct starting places. I've worked on a large variety of music for my artists and there's never just one sound or one preset. Try the DI setting on your electric or acoustic bass and you'll see how you can enhance the roundness while keeping it lively throughout the song. The synth setting opens up a different door with thickness, stereo spread and harmonic flavor. It'll fill the speakers like an old prophet. Okay, well I think that someone at Waves is a poetic uh, for creating such great um, commercial text and descriptions and it says it brings Tony Maserati's multi-platinum sound to your studio so let's take a look at the bass plugin from the Tony Maserati signature series okay so this is the interface of the Tony Maserati P72 um, you have the DI and the synth type switch you have the sensitivity control bass treble and you have um, some effect controls which actually became active yeah, with synth. So um, I don't have a synth here to try it on, but um, I'm pretty sure it works well. So if you want to try it on some synth bass lines or, or whatever uh, 
you want to try it on just head over to the website download the trial and try it out um waves is offering free trials for every product i think they work 14 days or so okay so let's switch back to the di which is for electric or acoustic basses so first i'm gonna play you a part of the bass in its dry version the bass sounds like that So it's a pretty nice live recorded bass guitar. So we're gonna take a look at the presets we have here. We have Fedrock, we're gonna try it with that. And we're gonna see how it sounds with the plugin on. Okay, so it gives the bass guitar a little bit of lower end, a little bit more of a round low end, and it makes it a little bit more present. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It sounds okay. It doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't really, I don't know, um, sound extraordinary to me. Uh, but I think it's a nice plugin, and I have I've, uh, saw some tests and reviews on the, on the internet and some product presentations where they used it on a, on a variety of different sources and it, it really sounded good. So um, if you want to try it out, just download it and, and try it on different material. I mean, it sounds okay. It's, it's nothing extraordinary, but it sounds okay. Um, let's take a look at the next one, which is the plugin for acoustic guitars. Head over to the website. This is the ACG. And Tony Maserati says about this plugin that this plugin is a comprehensive tool to help gain ultimate control and energy boost from a variety of acoustic guitar types. The ACG1 setting allows you to maximize level and sculpt your top and bottom. The ACG2 setting has more built-in compression for bringing out the subtleties in a live performance. Of course, it brings Maserati's multi-platinum sound to your studio. So let's head over to the acoustic guitar I have here. I'm going to play you, uh, first I'm going to show you the plugin, this is what it looks like. You have a high mid and a punch control. Then you have of course the sensitivity and you have some effects here. I don't know if this is a delay or a reverb, um, but you have some kind, I think it's a reverb because you have a pretty delay, um, but you have some kind of effect on this. So we're going to take a listen if this is maybe worth it. We're going to take a listen at the acoustic guitar in its dry version first and then we're going to play a little bit with the plugin. <laughs> So this is a beautiful uh, live recorded acoustic guitar and now we're going to activate the plugin and we're going to tweak it and see what sound we can get out of it. Okay, so this plugin actually brings a lot to the table and I like what it's doing. It makes sounding my guitar very, very well, the way I would mix it normally when I would use a console or mixing in the box. Um, let's take a listen to the whole song and see how the guitar fits in.
okay surely i would need a little bit more tweaking and looking at the at the single parameters here but it makes a instant sound um it makes it a very good sound instantly and you have don't have to worry which frequencies you should be tweaking to get the guitar sound you want so this one for me actually is a very very good plugin um what i have seen now is that the sensitivity control sometimes is um very fast into the red and it reacts very fast so when you have fast transients like with this guitar that's slammed really hard or with a snare or or in case with the bass guitar where you have those long sustains um, be sure that you always have an eye on the sensitivity uh, LED here because it turns in the red pretty pretty fast okay so the ACG plugin from the Tony Maserati funnel is a good one I like it on acoustic guitars and now let's move over to the GTI which has been developed for electric guitars let's take a look at the website first they say Eru was created with all the different guitar players that he has admired in his mind and uh, it should give you a in-your-face sound and of course the multi platinum sound from Tony Maserati so let's take a look at the plugin you have five guitar types clean clean chorus heavy thick rim and soft flange and you have the sensitivity the presence the tame the output control and you have uh, some effect controls that came in when you use clean chorus for example the rhythm and the soft flange okay so we're gonna leave it with the clean because I already tried this plugin and I like the clean program most but we're gonna use it on a distorted lead guitar so let's take a listen to the lead guitar uh, without the plugin and then we're gonna add the plugin and tweak it a little bit So you can hear as soon as we uh, activate the plugin that the, the lead guitar gets a little more edgy, it becomes a lot more present, and I really love this sound. Um, let's take a listen to this plugin on the rhythm guitar I have here. So I'm going to start off with the dry guitar, and then I'm going to activate the plugin and tweak it a little bit until I think it fits. Okay, so it has a very distinctive sound, but I like it on these two guitars, and it actually fits to that to that song, which is, by the way, um, produced with using the audio loops from Big Fish, Big Fish Nashville Sessions. This is a great bundle of, of country music loops where you can really create great sounds, so if you're in the country genre, give it a try. Now we're going to take a look at the HMX plugin from this bundle. The HMX, I'm going to see on the website, is a harmonics generator. Uh, in the modal mode, the HMX will make your piano white um, with just the right amount of chorus effect to give it live on a vocal demo or raise your villagers presence for some ethereal magic. Bounce mode will add a bit of reverb and delay to create energy and movement for a sensitive ballad or liveness to a funky full band setting. Okay, so let's take a look at this plugin. It has the sensitivity control, the size and the amount, which is obviously for the harmonics that are generated, spread, which m I think is a stereo field, and the output. And you have the FX and the wet button that comes in when you hit bounce. So um, I have a beautiful piano here, and I have seen 
but there is a piano setting here so first we're going to try the piano setting from the modal mode and then from the bounce mode and uh, see what this plugin can do to a piano Okay, so I like what it does. It makes the piano white, and of course you would have to tweak it a little bit more and, and uh, set every parameter until you get the perfect sound, but out of the box you get a pretty fast, pretty cool sound. Um, then there's another plugin in this bundle, which is the Maserati Group plugin, which is very interesting because you can use it on the master bus, um, or you can use it on drums, the guitar, bus, strings, keys, background vocals. So I have put it on a drums bus. These are live recorded drums and uh, I'm gonna play you the drums without the plugin and then I'm gonna add the plugin in and tweak it a little bit to achieve a good sounding result I hope so let's try it Okay, so I like what it does. Um, of course, you have to get deeper into these um, controls and try wha what happens if you if you adjust them more. Um, but the basic uh, opinion is it works. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's take a listen at the whole song I have created here. First, I'm going to play it without the plugins, and then I'm going to activate each one of them so that you can see what these plugins are doing in a whole song. Okay, so we have this one here sorry uh, god key erase okay so first without the plugins and then I'm gonna add them so that you can see what these plugins do to a country recording <laughs> Okay, honestly, I have to say, Waves, you did a great job. Um, I'm not a friend of preset mixing. Everybody who knows me knows that. I don't like that. I don't like those easy solutions, those quick mix solutions. But that one really sounds good because I didn't l tweak a lot and I just pulled them off and, and tweaked that a little bit, this a little bit, and I got I get a much more radio sound um, of the whole song with this plugin. So so honestly, they really sound good. and I, 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 There's not one plugin that doesn't work for me. So now let's take a look at the vocals, see what it does on vocals. First I'm going to play you a little bit of a female vocal I have here. Dry vocal first and then I'm going to add in the plugin. I'm going to loop this and then I'm going to add in the plugin and uh, see what the plugin can do on vocals. 
I'm still in love. Oh, baby. I'll be true. Wanna be with you. Okay, let's move over to the male vocal and see what it does on a male vocal. Baby, you are, you are my one and only, you are my one and only, for the rest of my life, I can't stop thinking about you, in my heart. And in my soul, let the story be told, oh yeah, I'll be crying. Baby, you are, you are my one and only, you are my one and only, for the rest of my life. I can't stop thinking about you in my heart. Okay, so I actually like what it's doing on the vocals as well. This plugin is pretty cool, um, and honestly, I didn't find anything to criticize here um, because your sounds, uh, the whole thing you use it on, sounds much more polished than um, without it and I did as you saw I did not do a lot of tweaking I just tried this tried that because actually it's the first time I used this plugin so uh, I have absolutely no experience with that and I, I didn't even read the manual and uh, it, it, it worked it worked on every every sound I put the plugin on and I'm I'm sure if you spend some time finding out how all those different knobs are working and what they are affecting and and, and especially the app the the effect sections you have in some of the plugins um i'm pretty sure that you can achieve great sounds with that and and, and compared to the cla signature series bundle which is no bad bundle um but there are th it has some weaknesses i honestly have to say that i did not spot any weakness in this bundle so honestly if you want to try it out head over to the waves website um they have it 14 day trial i think and uh, if you want to buy it it's 500 bucks it's available as AAX 64 bit native VST VST3 uh, audio suite audio unit and sound grid and RTAS so you can use it on every operating system you can use it in every DAW and it is worth its money you get seven multi effect processing chains they sound very good and uh, what, I, what I noticed is that you as soon as you activate the plugin on your tracks and they already have a much more more expensive sound so maybe that's because of the chain that has been used or sampled or I have no idea how they make these plugins but honestly they sound good and uh, if I had to choose between the CLA and the Tony Maserati signature series I would choose the Tony Maserati signature series but we're gonna do reviews of the other ones as well in the next day so until now see you bye bye